things are happening things are happening the kind of things i love to talk about the kind of things that give me joy they are happening a lot of them so i don't even know which one to start with because my head my head as i talk to now my head is like exploding with so much joy because of the things that are happening with the nigerian economy and i am begging on those who are still not believing those who still don't see the greatness, those who are not yet seeing all the fantastic things happening, just keep doubting and keep sleeping, keep wasting time. Now, imagine had it been, I was telling somebody three months ago, five months ago, that that your Europe, that your America, oh, that's your thing, you're doing whatever you are. Stop it and find a way to start building a company that will start producing solar panels in Nigeria or start building a company in Nigeria that will start manufacturing something that person would have looked at me so what are you telling me so all this work why they do for Europe all this work all this money what I get make I live account they do waiting for Nigeria now breaking news is coming out and I guarantee you that mark my words some Nigerians are about to become billionaires some Nigerians are about to become billionaires. Millionaires will be created. Billionaires will be created. People will make money in Nigeria because of this single decision that the government has made. It will transform the lives of so many people. And I've been singing this for a very long time. Oga, madam, my brothers and sisters, wake up. Believe in Nigeria. Find a way to start doing something in Nigeria. The earlier you find a way to kill, the better for you. And one of my biggest objectives and my biggest joy will be to help you, motivate you, push my followers, push, push all of us so that uh, make we benefit from all these great things that are happening in Nigeria. Because talking about it alone is not enough. I don't want to talk. I want to be part of the people who go benefit for all the good things where they are put for Nigeria. Let me just tell you an honest truth that this news i'm telling you now is happening in one sector the ban is coming in one sector but so many other sectors are going to experience this exact same issue that is happening now and this is the perfect opportunity for nigerians who believe in made in nigeria i've done a video yesterday where i was talking about how nigerians are preferring made in nigeria products now over made in china and made in europe and american products as in made in nigeria products are gradually taking up the market space in nigeria because people are now discovering the advantage and the importance of consuming made in nigeria products but the government intentionally putting high taxes on imported products to help the local economy so anyone that is going into manufacturing now in nigeria we become a future billionaire. Go into anything produced in Africa, produced in Nigeria. Is it farming? Is it tech? Shoes, slippers, clothes, everything possible. Jump into it right now and be part of those people that are trying to invest or do something in Nigeria on the go. Now, I don't want to take much of your time because I want us to hit the nail at the head. I want us to address this news in a very specific manner that will give everybody joy and make everybody understand the way the Nigerian economy is moving. I've said it many times that the economy in Nigeria is moving towards complete industrialization because... We have seen how the price of crude, crude oil has fallen. We have seen Nigeria has conquered the oil sector already. Just yesterday, Nigeria signed a deal with Angola. These are the two biggest oil producing countries in Africa. Where Nigeria and Angola will work as blocks in blocks, guys. So basically, Nigeria and Angola, they are going to take over the oil market in Africa and take that control away from the Americans, the Europeans, and the Asians that have been dominating the African market for a very long time. So Nigeria and Angola signing this deal means we have won the battle in, on oil, on crude oil, on fuel in Africa. Prices are going down. Price of fuel is going down in Ghana. Price of fuel is going down in Nigeria. Price of fuel is going down across Africa generally. That is because when I say things like Nigeria will become the, the one that will free Africa.
When Nigeria gets it right, Africa will get it right. We begin to see it happening in the fuel sector, the way the freedom is automatically coming up for every single one of us in Africa. And this is about to go from fuel into another dimension. It's about to go from fuel into different industries because Nigeria is already on the move to elevate manufacturing and production in Africa and Nigeria in particular to the next level to the point where nobody can come close. Nobody will be able to come close. Nigeria is finally getting to that point where it will liberate and free Africa. Africans must be wise. Africans must learn. And like I said, Nigerians need to start learning from Chinese how to invade other African countries with made in Nigerian products. That is the next strategy and that's the next step. Now, look at what the Nigeria government has done. The Nigeria government has successfully placed a ban on the importation of solar panels. <laughs> Do you know how much is the solar panel market in Nigeria? Do you know how much the solar panel market is worth in Nigeria? Now, we've been saying it many times that you see this electricity issue in Nigeria is because Nigeria probably has many ways they are making money that probably is bringing more money than electricity because if the government knew that providing stable electricity will bring more money to their pockets oh boy they would have provided that electricity to nigerians on a long way like long time ago but because if people know that with generators they are making money with solar panels they are making money with importation of things that enhance electricity they are making a lot of money and I, i'm not happy with that but Somehow they have managed to say let us stick to these ways instead of building and that's why the government has said anybody can build their own dam, generate your own electricity, sell it, make your money. So the importation of solar panels in Nigeria is now banned. You know how many people have been making billions importing solar panels into Nigeria from China? How many billionaires? How many millionaires? Nigeria is the one supplying solar panels to all African countries and all of it is imported. People import solar panels to Nigeria and share them to Cameroon, share them to Ghana, share them to Benin Republic, all the Africa. That importer, those people that are importing those solar panels in Nigeria, they have made billions. But other people are about to make even more billions because the government has placed a ban on the importation of solar panels. And you'll be asking yourself, why would the government place a ban on importation of solar panels into Nigeria? Yes, because the government is setting up factories. Nigeria is setting up factories. I don't know if that factory is completely owned by the government, but Nigeria is already on the move to set up multiple factories across different states. As I'm talking to you now, a solar panel factory is already up and ready to go in Lagos, Nigeria, ready to produce enough solar panels for Nigeria. Now, people will be shocked to see how the solar panel market will, will, will go viral because solar panel price will drop since it's being produced locally. No more importation of solar panels. Those who will get into the business will start selling it in other countries, buying it from Nigeria to sell it in Cameroon, Ghana and other countries. Now money will not go they make. See, you will see Ego, Ego Marama, money na water. They will make a lot of money. And this is exactly how an economy can grow. This is the secret to every economic success in the world. The government making sure that local production is a priority. For the past few months, ask yourself, why is it that Ajin keeps talking on buy land in Nigeria? Buy property in Nigeria. Invest in Nigeria. Ask yourself why. You think I'm, I? Don't, you think I don't have people who who tell me things? You think we are not close? We are close to some people. We are close to some people who are telling us these things that hey, the government is working on something. The government of Nigeria is doing something. This very government of Nigeria has only one agenda: eh? Make priority production in Nigeria increase manufacturing in Nigeria, increase consumption of Nigeria made, make Nigeria a complete industrialized economy. There is no other objective. Because once Nigeria becomes that complete industrialized economy, oh boy, now people go the wrong call Nigeria. Jobs will be looking for people. 
opportunities will be the one looking for people. Not be nice. Not be people go to find opportunities again. So right now, it's going to be tough because transforming, moving, switching. Because Nigeria is the highest importer in Africa. Nobody in Africa imports more than Nigeria. But that story is about to end very soon. Because Nigeria is about to take advantage and start producing. Nigeria has the market. Even, I've said it many times, even if the whole Africa said we don't want to buy anything from Nigeria. Nigeria should produce their things and eat it alone, consume it alone. You choose to produce it, you still make a lot of money because the market is there. We are talking of close to 300 million people. 300 million people. Even if it's this cup, this cup you are selling now, even at this cup for Nigeria, they sell. Out of the 300 million people, find just 100,000 people. If you make 1,000 naira per cup times 100,000 people, how much you don't make? Talk less of those who now have the audacity and the power to carry it to other countries. So there is a massive change that is coming up with the Nigerian economy with especially with this kind of decisions coming up, ban on stuff like this. I am expecting that the next thing that Nigeria should ban is ban foreign cars, ban importation of cars. Because the motorway in Nigeria, if 50% of the vehicles in Nigeria today were made in Nigeria, the money where Nigeria forgets. I mean, just 50% of the vehicles used in Nigeria today if they were made in Nigeria, nobody will be complaining because money will be fooled in the economy. Fact, innocent we, you know, many innocents will come up. Everybody will jump into car manufacturing now that solar panels have been banned. Now that taxes are high on imported products. Now that the government wants to give priority to local brands and local products. Now that people are also running to local brands because foreign brands is now too expensive. The only thing you can do as a wise person now is to queue up, get in line, start producing, start manufacturing. Start making sure you are part of the people that are making that progress. Because good news will come. More good news will come. So. As you can see, this is one of those good decisions. I don't know what people will say about it. Some people will look at it in a different way and complain about the electricity. Why can't the government just give better electricity? Why can't the government just do this? Why can't the government just do that? As long as the government has the interest of the Nigerian economy at heart, there are so many things the government is trying to do, Nigeria is trying to do now, to put the Nigerian economy where Nigeria economy is the priority. Once those things are, are done, it's not left to you. Anybody that wants to make money in Nigeria, it's at the clip of your finger, you'll be making money. You'll be making a lot of money in Nigeria because the opportunities are gradually coming up. Guys, I am very, very happy to get up and see that the Nigeria government has actually banned importation of solar panels because that sector alone, that solar panel sector alone, the next thing they have to ban is importation of cars. Clubs. In fact, I'm happy. Let the ban continue. Let the ban not stop. And as the ban is coming, let factories be built. Let people start understanding that there is value in made in Nigeria. There's a lot of value in producing locally. There's a lot of joy that comes with producing our things locally. And just like the fuel sector, this ban and these changes will influence all other African countries. And before you know, all of Africa will start breeding freedom. We start breeding some relief because our economies will learn to depend on ourselves. Not everything coming from the diaspora. It is what it is. Your boy as you might as well this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free guys because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese.